after failing to recover close to a thousand crore rupees of debt. Lenders of troubled Kingfisher Airlines are likely to approach the Debt Recovery Tribunal for the recovery of the outstanding debt. Swati has more details on that. Swati, tell us what is the next move of the lenders. They've been holding all kinds of meetings, but are they finally reaching a point where they need to now just get down to the legal process of recovering their dues? Well, it seems like that, Vivek, because left with very little choice now, KFA lenders are exploring all options, all legal options against Kingfisher to recover dues and sources tell Bloomberg TV India that lenders actually could go to DRT in a bid to recover dues that are to the tune of 7,500 crore rupees and this is over and above the liabilities the company has of almost 8,000 crore rupees and losses which are close to 7,000 crore rupees. Now sources also tell us that the collaterals that lenders have against the loan is not really enough to recover all the dues. Now promoters we know own just about 30 odd percent in the company right now almost of all of which is being pledged against the loans taken. Now, it is claimed that collaterals are worth 2,000 crore rupees that uh, have been given, which includes both personal and corporate guarantees from the UB group. Now, Malia's personal guarantees include his shareholding and personal property, while corporate guarantees here include uh, guarantees from UB Holding, U United Breweries, USL Shares, Mangalore Chemicals, and McDonald, uh, McDowell's. Now, tangible security, uh, we understand, includes Villa and Goa and Kingfisher's other premises. But interestingly, uh, it's, uh, we've seen that banks like SBI, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India and IDBI, who have huge exposure on Kingfisher books, have not really gone ahead and seized or sold any assets that exist, a right that they have through the Surface Act. Perhaps that really explains that there's not much really out there for the lenders to bank upon or in cash against the default. Remember, there's no aircraft that the company owns except a couple of personal aircraft that Malia has. Also, uh, interestingly, Kingfisher is no more a subsidiary of UBHL, so we do not really know how much is UB Group liable to pay to Kingfisher for, uh, for the defaults uh, or, or to the lenders. The next meeting, of course, is slated uh, on the 18th, uh, where lenders and management will again meet. Another meeting, well, we'll keep a close one, uh, one uh, watch on it because this one will really tell us uh, whether the lenders definitely uh, make up their mind to go ahead and move DRT because there's no consensus reached yet on this issue.